how's it going guys we are back with another video here and this video is going to be you know a nice one here and uh, it's going to be trying to help you guys out with uh, some tips on some cards here that could help you out all right so today we're gonna start with a new thing because now price range is finally back in hunt it's a huge huge addition to the game uh thankfully it's back it was pretty frustrating that there was no way to uh you know sort by buy now but now we're able to uh, but here we go. So it's a you know a Thursday day, not too much new content, but some good prime times that came out today. So speaking of a good one, 86 Shifley and 83 Spurgeon are the ones I want to focus on. Shifley's very good uh, due to the reason of him having Howitzer and Spurgeon as distributor, and distributor actually gets him up to like 91 speed, I believe. So uh, he's got very good cards. A little small, but regardless, still a good card. The content's not too bad today. It's really not. All right. But without further ado, we're going to go over to the Marketplace. Uh, this video is going to focus on the best cards for 50 to 100k. So I'm going based on, you know, their card and just their overall value that they're worth their price. All right. So let's go over to the Marketplace right now. Uh, we go to the Auction House. Here we go. Browse Auctions. And uh, 20,000 cards in the market. That's a lot. All right. So we're going to go over to Forward. Forward first. Just kind of focus on Forwards. Buy now minimum, we're going to go 50k to 100k right now. And uh, again, there's, there's a lot of just there's a lot of different cards here uh, to look at. And but there's really just not not every card's good. That's just that's really the b the bottom line. It's just the bottom line, right? So here we go. All right. Uh, simply, these are obviously overpriced. I don't know what this even is, but uh, okay. So right away about Stamkos. So the thing about Stamkos, guys. I'm not a fan, okay? I'm not a fan of this card costing as much as it goes for. Good card, yes, but I'm not a fan of this card going for almost 100k, 80k, that's a lot. The reason I say that uh, is because his base card is one overall less, plus the synergy is the same, right? So what's really the difference? So that, that's my logic, at least. Um, but yeah. So, all right, let's look at some other cards, some forwards. Um, right away, what I'm seeing is a lot of Prime, a lot, sorry, a lot of Halloween cards, Kane, all that stuff. Um, really, there's just not a crazy amount of cards that I would really recommend right away looking at, uh, because, I mean, I don't know, there's just not a lot of options, but, uh, I would say 86 Jack Eichel is very, very good. His synergy could be better, but his shot is 87, 90, 87, 87, um, 88 speed, 85 endurance, 82 balance, good skating card, get distributor activated as well, he's got a really, really good speed as well, so... Uh, I mean, there's really is not a, a plenty amount of cards here for 50 to 100k forwards wise, uh, but we're gonna try to like you know try to like break down the best ones to me, at least in my eyes that I would I would even use, right? So uh, then we got who else we got here? Honestly, Mike Madonna is very good in my opinion. Uh, Mike Madonna E3 overall. So he's got barrage and passing playmaker. Uh, you know, not, not, not like any, uh, speed synergies, but already with 88 speed for an 85 overall card, I think that's very good. Um, it's not, it's not very, uh, you know, it, it's a little surprising, honestly, that, that he actually has 88 speed for an 85 overall icon. It's impressive. So, I like Madonna's card. Uh, his face officer is 73. You can't see it because of my face cam, but, uh, honestly, that's, you know, that's, that's really what he's got right now. He's got simply 73 face offs. So, not, not amazing, but... That's Madonna right there. Not a fan of Crosby. Do not like base Crosby's card. Do not recommend Crosby at all. I just don't. I really don't. Um, now, Duchesne you get for a little bit under this price as well, but Duchesne 84 is excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, the reason I say that uh, is because he has 90 speed already. He gets speeds are activated. Tap on Distributor. He's got 97 speed. So you straight line with this card, you're going to get a lot of breakaways, a lot of breakaways, a lot of opportunities. Uh, I love Duchesne's card. Uh, trust me, I, I think Duchesne's a very, very excellent one. I really, really do. I would, I would work on getting Duchesne, guys. I would. He's an excellent card. Uh, his shot's even not bad. His face-offs are 83. You can't see because of my cam, but uh, he's he's good. He's Trust me, Duchesne is worth it. It might be a little under 50K as well, so uh, even better. Uh, of course, he's uh, overpriced right now. Neely. See, I don't really see these, these cards being too worth it. I really, really don't. There's just not a lot of cards that I, I can really say right now that are 100% worth. The ones I've really recommended, I, I really think are good. But a lot of these are overpriced. Kane, you know, he's a little overpriced, I'd say. I really would. Aho, what was Aho? Synergy. Aho has Magician. Just not amazing, not amazing. Pedersen's a good card, all right? Now, I'll say Pedersen's a very good card. And now the reason for Pedersen being a good card... Wow, 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 wow. 
Pedersen goes for very cheap, actually. This is stunning right now. Pedersen has Howitzer. So if you give him Howitzer, A6 speed, plus a distributor of 89. Plus the shots in the 90s already. It's actually a very good card at 62172. Ex actually, an excellent card. I recommend Pedersen for sure. He's under 50k, but uh, that's a very good card right there. All right, so let's let's look over to uh, some defensemen now. There's really not probably a bunch. I'm assuming. Let's see. You got 21 cards only right now. So yeah, these are very overpriced right now. Very very overpriced. So all right, I don't know how much Macar goes for. I mean, there's just really not a lot of variety, honestly, right now. So Macar is about 50k, a little under. But Macar is excellent at 511, 89 speed. Uh, he wheels. He's a very, very fast card. I'm a fan of Kale McCarr, 84 overall edition. Um, I recommend him for sure. I mean, I, I like McCarr. Um, just good speed on him is what you look for. All right. Uh, A6 Dowdy could be decent as well. Uh, he's got passing playmaker, but I think it's a little bit of an overpay. I really, really do. And the rest are pretty much, uh, you know, not actually going for their value. Honestly, I'll stretch it out a little bit as well for you guys. I mean, people ask me for other price changes too. I'll do I'll, I'll do 30k right now. I mean, just try to open it up a little bit more. All right, so here we go. So Wierenski's also very good uh, in my eyes. 84 overall Wierenski. Under 30k is a really good value for him, I'd say. Uh, he's got Speedster. Give him Speedster. 87 speed plus distributor has like 90, uh, 88 wrist shot accuracy. Uh, Wierenski's a solid, solid left-handed defenseman. I recommend him very much so to you guys. I really do. All right. Latang, super good as well. I like Latang. Uh, he's got Speedster as well. Uh, going for about 30K, it looks like right now. Um, yeah, six foot Speedster. Give him 89 speed plus a distributor. Even better, 92 speed. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this Latang. I really, really am. Uh, 90 Rishaw Power as well. Super good, super good card. Um, I love Carlson. I mean, I can rave about him all the time. I love base Carlson. Dowdy, I love a lot. Let's see some forwards here as well. I've been looking at a lot of defensemen. Forwards. Not not amazing amount right now that I'm that I'm seeing that I like. Miller is low key underrated. He's got Howitzer, so his shots even improved. His speed's good. I don't know how much he goes for. I mean, it looks like probably under uh, under 50k here. Uh, wow, wow, wow! This is like the best card in the game right now. I'd say, guys, I recommend. I recommend JT Miller. I really, really do. Six one with Howitzer 84 speed. I absolutely recommend JT Miller. Trust me. That's a very, very, very good card. Oh my goodness, JT Miller's a steal. Buy JT Miller, guys. Wow. I mean, this is turning into like a, you know, just great cards in general video. I mean, there's just so many good ones I'm seeing right now for value as well. Value purposes. That's insane, actually. That's insane right there. Ovechkin, I don't like. Lay off Ovechkin, guys. Lay off Ovechkin. Trust me. Don't don't buy Ovechkin. Base Hall, I love. 85 overall, Taylor Hall. I mean, I can rave about him all the time. 90 speed and a, you know, a mid 80 shot. Taylor Hall is super, super good. Uh, okay, okay, Shifley just came out, I mean, obviously, he's probably gonna go for a decent amount, but Shifley, he'll be on the list right away, I mean, Shifley has Howitzer, gets him to 89 speed, gets him to about an 89 shot, give him the distributor, he's even faster, so you can justify him, you know, out there, he's not gonna be slow, that's for sure, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan, I'm, I'm a definitely a big fan of uh, Shifley's card, I really am, alright, um, there's just a bunch of just there's a bunch of solid cards for this value. There really is. 30 to 100k is a pretty uh, fair range right here. Okay, so um, just to get a bunch of options. I just don't like Crosby. I really don't. Kucherov's pretty good for me, but I'm not so so impressed with him. McKinnon's the same thing. I like McKinnon, but not not stunned with how good he's been or anything like that. Braden points team of the week is good though. Uh, I definitely have some good. Good things on him because he's howitzer as well. 89 speed, 89 wrist shot power. Pretty much a shot's 89. I'm a huge fan of Breeden Point in this game. Uh, 510. I, I like this base card. I actually use 84 for a little bit as well. Point solid. I mean, point's definitely a solid card. Drew 85 overall edition is also good. Gladiator's on an amazing synergy, but he's 87 face-offs uh, as well. 87 speed. Uh, he has a distributor. He's not too slow, so can definitely justify him out there for you. Uh, I like Drew certainly. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, there's just not many, uh, many more. I mean, it's still early in the year, right? So, I mean, there's not that many cards out, of course. But let's see if there's any goalies that I can really say for this value. Not, not, not a, not a bunch, I don't think. But um, price is pretty good. I mean, price is definitely not bad. 86 overall carry price with barrage. Price is definitely a solid goaltender option. But I wouldn't go crazy. You know, oh, I, I gotta get price. I, eh, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far as saying that. But um, Kemper is actually not bad as well. 83 overall with distributor is a great synergy as well. So that's a nice perk on his card. Um, yeah, it's pretty solid overall. I, I definitely like uh, Kemper. Uh, not many more options after that, though. Price price, and Kemper. Vasilevsky's not terrible, but for value purposes, I feel like Vasilevsky's a little overpriced, but definitely not terrible. But, yeah, I mean, that's really the, uh, the gist of the video, really. There's not, I mean, there's not too many amazing cards out right now. I mean, it's still early in the year, of course. Um... I don't like the virus for the reason of him being slow. That's why he's under, uh, under like 30k probably. But yeah, I like Pedersen's card a lot. I really, really do. Stone, I don't think I'm crazy about. No, his speed's ve very, very low. 81 speed is very, very low. Even with the distributor, he's not going to really be able to, uh, to hang. I don't think. Mauricio Shard, I've heard good things about uh, due to the fact that he has speedster. Uh, so you give him speedster and distributor, he's actually kind of, kind of fast out there, and his shots not bad. So. He's a good option as well. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past Maurice Richard. He's also good. Don't like Ovechkin this year. Ovechkin's too slow. Um, yeah, Kobatar I feel like it's still a little slow. A3 yeah, speed. I'm not, not not crazy about that. Certainly. That's pretty much it, though, guys. I mean, for the for the cards, I'd say are the best value. Um, that's that's pretty much all of them, right? So for this value, 30 to 100k, pretty much was the uh, the main of it, right? If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique. We're live there every single day. Of course, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Henrique with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it all.